I'm Christian Thomas uh, from Wensville, Wolverhampton. I'm 28 years old, so I'm an Olympic gymnast. I've competed in London Olympics where I won the bronze medal and then was also team captain for the Rio Olympics only last year as well. I think, to be honest, being from Wensville, being from Wolverhampton, I think it's, it's something that you know, there's only one team in Wolverhampton and your friends will support them, you go to the games, you know, you, you talk amongst it on the school bus, uh, when you went to school on the, on the one day, the weekend had gone, some of the lads, so some of my friends were season ticket holders, was already sitting in South Bank with their families and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I, can't, I guess you just kind of grow up around it and, you know, people that, you know, your family, friends, relatives and Wolves fans as well, so it kind of just goes from there really. Um, but yeah, as I say, I wasn't always able to get to the games, but that was, you know, first first score that you always check, I guess, when, uh, when it was Teletext back in the days. <laughs> I think, sort of briefly, just had a little chat before this about it, I think it's got to be my first Wolves game and, you know, I can't even remember what the exact score was. Um, I've been trying to work it out, but it was against Berry. Uh, it was at the Molyneux. And I can't remember it because I came with my brother and my dad and, um, I remember my brother had his face painted and everything like that. I remember there being quite a few goals that day as well. And that was my first experience there in Wallingham. And I was probably only about six or seven years old at the time. So for that reason, I'd, uh, I'd have to go with that. Uh, I think growing up, Robbie Keane was, you know, someone who a lot of players or a lot of people um, sort of thought was, you know, he was head and shoulders above quite a lot of players at the time. Uh, you can see he had potential, you can see he was scoring goals as well. Um, and then also, you know, actually because I think at school as well, I was around about when Wolves got promoted um, through the playoffs and where I used to train at the National Centre as well. I remember Wolves coming along um, and having a training camp there. Uh, I was there quite a few times. I remember seeing like Dennis Irwin and Paul Ince and big, big players. Um, just that when I was only young and that was, that was quite incredible to see, actually thinking, well, I actually play for my local team now. And, you know, they've had incredible careers, so uh, yeah, but I think if I had to kind of na narrow it down, I think I'd go with someone like Robbie Keane just because I always enjoyed watching him play. I think I guess it's just that proud combination of being from Wolverhampton and supporting your home team and people from Wolverhampton, you know, that they're, they're proud to be from this area and they're proud to back their local team and it's, uh, I think that's what it, it kind of comes down to more than anything. I guess it, it is just that, that proud feeling. As I say, it's the only club in the city. Um, so people want to get behind it. They want to support the team. They, you know, they want to see the team do as best as they possibly can. And that goes for everybody, whether that's local businesses, communities, schools, um, whoever it is. I think everyone just wants to see them do well. Yeah.